Hello, and welcome to Neo Vector Academy. Today, I want to introduce you to an important website where you can access many of the top AI image and video generators all in one place. Nowadays, there are so many powerful AI tools for creating images and animations, like Midjourney, Flux, Firefly, Runway, Kling, Ray2, Veo, and many others. Each of these AI models excels in different areas, and I believe knowing about all of them is essential for any AI specialist. The general workflow of these AIs is very user-friendly and similar across platforms, but each has its own unique thinking and structure, which means the images or videos they generate can look quite different. Today, we're going to talk about the Korea website. By purchasing a subscription there, you can use almost all the AI services you need for image and video creation, with some differences that I'll explain later. When you work on a project or video, the usual process is, first, you develop your prompt scenario with ChatGPT, then you create a storyboard and final images with an image generating AI like Midjourney or Flax. After that, you use video generation AIs like Runway or Kling to produce your videos. And finally, for editing and audio, you might use AI tools or apps like CapCut. Normally, handling such a project would require buying four or five different subscriptions. But with Crea, by buying just one account, you can access most of the AI tools you need for image creation, editing, video, and audio. Crea has its advantages and some limitations. The benefit is that you can do your entire workflow within one UI environment without switching between multiple AIs with different interfaces or buying multiple subscriptions for a single project. For example, subscriptions for Midjourney, Runway, ChatGPT. Here, one subscription gives you access to all of them. Crea itself doesn't provide many services directly, but acts as a bridge connecting other AI platforms and models. First, you create an account on Crea.ai. Then, through the plan section, you can view available services and their costs. The free plan has many limitations and only a small number of monthly credits for using the services. The paid plans, Basic, Pro, and Max, range from $8 to $28 differing mainly in the number of credits and the amount of service available. For example, with the $8 plan, you can generate up to 1,000 images using the Flax model, or create 36,000 images with the real-time image feature, or enhance 180 images with other options. The differences between plans are mostly in the number of credits you get. Now, let's scroll down and see which AI models Crea supports. You can use these AI models for image generation. Flux, Flux Pro, Ultra, Ideogram, which is excellent, Imogen, and even the ChatGPT image model. We don't have Midjourney here because its structure doesn't allow it to be used on these platforms. But these are still very powerful AIs for image generation. For video, there are models like Wan, Luma, Kling, Runway. They've recently added Runway Gen 4, their newest model, which isn't live yet, but will be added soon. Also, Pika, Ray2, Veo, which is fantastic and has a new Veo 3 coming soon. This section shows you what models you can use. Depending on your plan, if you're on the free plan, for instance, you can only generate 13 images with flux and can't switch models. For video, you get only one video per month on that plan. If you upgrade to the basic plan, $8 a month, you can generate 19 videos with the Kling model. Some models are more expensive. For example, Veo is costly, letting you make just 6 videos, while Runway Gen 3 is cheaper and allows 21 videos. Gen 4, when added, will likely be priced higher. You can see how many images you can make with each model before purchasing a plan, so choose your plan accordingly. Back on the main page, you can access popular tools from the top menu image, video, or enhance. For full tool visibility, you can enable show all, and you'll see all the AI models and tools available at once. Today, we'll focus on image, video, and enhance. In future sessions, we'll talk about other useful tools like video lip sync, editing, and even 3D objects. To start, I click on image. We enter a new UI where we can generate images from prompts. Here's something interesting. If you open the model selection, 
you'll see all the AI models supported for image generation. Flux, ChatGPT, Runway Gen 4, which is new and excellent, I highly recommend it. Each model has its own style and thinking, so their generated images can differ a lot. By default, Flux is selected, which is the fastest image generator. Let's create a prompt together. I described a cute girl with curly red hair, wearing a soft green dress, sitting cross-legged on the beach sand, holding a small guitar, smiling with open eyes, playing music. The surroundings are full of shells and gentle ocean waves. The character looks like a soft doll with pastel colors and natural light. The shot is a close-up with a 40 millimeter lens. Before generating with Flux, we have some settings here. For example, you can control the aspect ratio, vertical, horizontal, or custom sizes. I'll set it to 4 on 3. You can also upload a reference image to help the AI, or select different styles and looks using example images. Note that the available settings depend on the AI model you choose. Runway Gen 4 may ask for a reference image. I keep it simple, just controlling the aspect ratio then click Generate. Look how fast the image is created. You can see the prompt text, the model used, and some options. I can click to enlarge the images. The character is playing the guitar exactly as described. Let's try the same prompt with another model, Flux Pro, which uses more credits and takes a bit longer. I keep the prompt and settings the same and click Generate. This time, we get two images instead of four. The details look better to me, the texture of the dress, the hair, and the description of the beach. I'll also try Ideogram 3 with the same prompt, which produces two images. Clicking Generate again shows a different artistic style. Any image here can be enhanced, meaning we can increase its quality, improve lighting, textures, and shapes. I select an image and choose Enhance. We enter a new UI for enhancing. The first option is to increase size and resolution. For example, this image is 1184 by 896 pixels. We can double, quadruple, or even octuple the resolution. There are other parameters for details, texture, light, and overall mood. AI strength controls how strongly the AI adds new details. Higher values make sharper textures. Lower values reduce unwanted detail. Resemblance controls how faithful the final image stays to the original. Higher resemblance may reduce sharpness. Clarity controls how much the final image follows the prompt. Higher clarity means new details match the prompt better. Lower clarity focuses on color accuracy and reduces noise. Sharpness adjusts overall image sharpness, and if you use the match color, it preserves the color theme of the original image. I click Enhance with default settings and our prompt. After enhancement, you can compare side by side, the enhanced image on the right, the original on the left. Look at the dress's texture, which now looks more like felt, or the guitar's wood, which looks more realistic. Even the hair and the sand on the beach show more detail. You can also enhance images with different models. The default is Kriya's own model, which is good, but you can also try Topaz or other models available here. After enhancement, you can download the improved image. Back to the Home tab, I click on Video. The UI here is similar to the image section. Now check here and find out the video models available are Kling, Veo, Pika, Hailuo, Luma, Ray2, Runway, and even the older Kling versions, and we can use all of them. I upload the enhanced image as a start frame for the video. Now I enter the video prompt. A young girl with curly red hair is gently playing a small guitar with her eyes closed, wearing a soft smile. Her fingers move naturally and softly with continuous playing motion. The camera moves smoothly and cinematically around her, and her hair gently flows with the breeze. You can select the video generation model some models are marked expensive and use more credits. For example, Kling 2 is excellent for video creation. The default is 1, which is the fastest and has good quality. Let's generate a video with a few different models. You can also define an end frame to specify video transitions, but for now, I generate with default settings.
Playing the video, you'll see the motion matches the prompt. Hair flows, hands move, but the camera doesn't circle fully around the subject. If I try another time, it could generate a new version with a totally different mindset. I try generating it with Kling 2 with the same prompt and image. This model doesn't support an end frame, and it just has the start frame. The generated video looks much better. The hair movement, hand motion on the guitar, string vibrations, ocean waves, and camera rotation around the subject are all much more realistic. The video is five seconds long. You can extend it or add audio later, and I'll explain more about these options in future videos. And finally, you can save your video by clicking the download button. Let me share a quick tip at the end of this video. Although in Crea.ai, we have access to many AI models, both for creating images and videos, but if you use those AI models directly, they may offer you even more features and services. For example, if we use Runway or Kling AI directly, they provide us with more tools and options. Right now, I took the same prompt character we created in Crea and recreated it here using Midjourney. These are images that were generated and they look really great. And just look at how many options we have here. We can upscale, enhance, edit, and change any part of the image we want. For example, I click on Edit, then Open in the Edit tab. Now I can go to the Move section and change the aspect ratio to 16 by 9. In the Paint section, I can erase some areas and start reimagining those parts with a new prompt. For instance, I wrote a prompt describing the same character, but added a detail. I added, red crabs are moving and dancing on the beach. Then I clicked submit. This means I changed both the size and aspect ratio of the image and edited a part of it separately. Now you can see four images generated, including the crabs. I can go back and maybe select a bit more space and submit again. Okay, here are four new images where you can see the changes have been applied as we described. Now we can take one of these images to Crea and recreate the animation there. Going back to Crea, I go to the video section, a new session, and set the start frame. This is the image I chose as the base frame for the video. Now I enter the prompt. In my prompt I said a girl is playing a small guitar. Her curly red hair is moving in the breeze and wind. A few cute crabs are dancing and celebrating around her, and the camera slowly and smoothly circles the girl to show both her playing and the crabs dancing. Now I set the model to cling and click generate. Here is the final result and you can see a very good video has been produced. Follow our channel because soon we will share very good tutorials about artificial intelligence with you.